Alright, so welcome back to some more Heroes Heart Day. We're starting chapter 2 today, Heart of Darkness. The Heroes Heart Day fell dangerously close with the Friday the 13th, and, a, and the Vampire Lord Friday the 8th has had enough of Big Daddy, his pink madness, and his obsession with love. That's the 13th, not the 8th. Awesome. That's right. Happy Harris Hard Day at midnight. It's good to see you again. Sniff sniff. Can you smell it, baby? Love is in the air. What do you have for sale? Holiday shop. Um Ebony and Roses 6. Okay. Looks kinda of, oh wait, pet. My tiny void whatever it says, void pony. That's right. Nice. Okay. Get some interesting stuff. Oh, a little spider. <laughs> Wait, we can actually get some of this stuff. That's right. I mean, I don't know if this is any point of it. Either way. Dragon amulet shop. Right. Oh. This enemy, this trinket stuns your enemy for two rounds. That's pretty cool. That's right. Minus 50 hit rate. Oh, that's pretty cool as well. Well, I have a lot of dragon coins. That's right. Um, I would like to buy these. They seem pretty cool. Might go by them on my other character. Nice, anyway. Select a quest. Deliver Snugglegram. Can't be bothered. Stop Snugbills. Awesome. You take you you know take candy, you boxes. Guys, I'm going to have to ask you to control your natural urges. These candy boxes aren't yours. But but Snugville's love boxes. Love is good. Well, you got a point there. Big Daddy's all about love. But if you want these candy boxes, you'll have to buy them like everyone else. No, Snugville's love gold too. No give gold or boxes. You too much love. I think you might be missing the point. You must m miss point. You touch boxes, we break face. Oh, that's it. Okay, you are quite tanky. Health minus one. Interesting. You stand no chance, asshole. You'll go down. Because you're a bitch. Couple more hits and you were done for. And okay, no man. I thought that would have killed it. I don't know why. I expected to do about seven hundred damage, but it didn't. Oh well. Um, there you go. Never mind. There you go. <laughs> That will show the as Snugville Thieves. It just goes to show that you can dress a Sneevel like Elton John, but a Sneevel is still a Sneevel. Okay. That is very true. Very true. Um, Heal on Persians. The Stakeout. Midnight. Big Daddy has a problem. Something is cutting into my profit. Usually around this time of year, the frost of infinite terror, forest, <laughs> is filled with love, lovers, and broken hearted day and night. It's never too late or too early for snuggle grams, but something has changed this year. During the daytime, everything is fine, but in the night, the forest is empty. P 
people have been seen running out of the forest screaming. Granted, it is the forest of infinite terror, but I've rarely turned this place around. I need you to stake the forest out tonight and see what, or who, is scaring all of my customers, baby. Are oh, you asshole, Jesus Christ. That's right. Okay. I am gonna look like an idiot now. That's okay. Uh, where's my weapon? Death blade. Wait, uh, um. Yeah, I know it. Why, why am I stupid? There you go. And then have this and. Um, I will put this on. And that's it, because I can't be bothered. Okay, you guys are actually a bit tougher. I thought that was a multi-attack. I guess not. Okay, well it looks like we're going to be in for a good time because I'm getting my ass kicked by these guys. And it's not good. Yes, cat. Awesome. Why do they, why do, they do so much damage and why have I got such shit damage? It's really annoying. Very annoying. I literally almost got killed by three eyeballs. And there's nothing I can do about it because the class is shit. Um, so I guess I'm Persianing. Uh. Okay, well, let's pretend you're not there. Okay, you're a bit better. Because you don't have three of you. <laughs> oh wait. Uh you seem to be resistant. Uh oh wait. What have I done with all my weapons? Have I did I put my weapons away? Why did I do that? Oh my god. Oh well. I mean, oh wait, this does metal. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, the attack doesn't do my weapons attack, apparently. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why is this so st that, that stupid? Right. How am I supposed to do this? Because... The, these enemies don't, they do so much damage and I can't even protect myself. All I've got these shitty attacks that do nothing. I'm going to be dead next battle. I can't even potion. God damn it. Can I go about my day please? Oh, never mind. It's pretty much a rest in peace now. Next hit I'm dead. Maybe. Okay, I'm alive. Next hit I'm dead. Unless my cat can kill it. And it can't. Okay. Well that was really good that wasn't it? Uh, what the fuck is this quest? Why is it so difficult for some... Stupid reason. Let me have a look. Why do I have to wear the shitty fucking armor? Oh my god. There's nothing I can do. Is the. I'm about, I'm, I'm about to say fuck it to this, um. Here's Hadde. And end this one here. Look at that. Who who designed this? I'm half dead already.
Damn. And I thought the hard call would be difficult. This is just poorly designed though. This isn't even like designed well, it's designed terribly. The quest of terrible design. It's probably because I'm level 51, so it's just like upscaled all the enemies. Stupidly upscaled them. I don't even have like a stall on this cast, do I? Nah. I don't think so. I think all those attacks are just the same, and they do like. The same thing. Wow! Who would have thought? Why is this like the hardest quest I've ever had to do? Like seriously. I'm going. Alright, so I had an idea. Well, let's bring some good old companions with us. I mean, these enemies don't gain any extra health because of it, so... It's not a bad thing. Um, I will smack you. There you go, and... Here. Okay, that was much easier. Too bad I had to bring... Two companions with me. Oh well. That quest is really bad though. This quest. I pretty much have to bring them with me. Oh well. These enemies are quite, like, dark base, so Arctic is just gonna wreck them. Which is pretty good. I can slink you right past these enemies. Awesome, can I go past you? Yes, I can. This is how a coward plays. Whoa, you've got strong. Too bad you're gonna get smited by Artix. Almost. Nathera's multi attack is like so overpowered if you use it on one enemy because all the hits hit it and does a lot of damage. Awesome. Hello, Vampire Man. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. I know who you are. You're Lord Friday the 13th. The Vampire Lord of Doomwood. You must be the reason that Big Daddy sent me on this stakeout. Do not mention stakes. I guess all these monsters are yours. Why are you scaring everyone out of the Forest of Infinite Terror? I see no need to explain myself to you, Hero. But your power is well known. I respect power. That wretch, Big Daddy, respects nothing. Once he took control of this portion of Doomwood, he painted everything this ridiculous colour. He sells the illusion of love to these poor deluded fools. Just to turn a quick profit, that's just evil. You're evil. I would think that you could get behind something else being evil. Anyway, he may be making a profit, but he's bringing people together. He's helping love thrive. That's not evil. I have walked this world for 189 years. In all that time, I have seen many things, but nothing to convince me that love is real. I'm sick of Big Daddy's lies. I'm sick of his trickery. I'm sick of all this pink. Send him a message for me at midnight. Tell him that Friday the 13th is when my dark powers are the strongest. Tell Big Daddy that my minions and I will soon come for him. 
and there is nothing that either of you can do to stop me. Tell him, should I get a pen or are you going to be done soon? Just deliver my message. Okay, this um, sounds awesome. Can I take this shitty armor off now then? That's right. Uh, special armor. And... What? Oh, nice. All my stuff's on it. <laughs> I thought all my stuff was back. That's right. Um, load. And... Load. There you go. Can I... Lord Friday the 13th, huh? I should have known. He has never liked what I have done with the Forest of Infinite Terror. That pro pro property lines between here and his section of Doomwood. They were never very clear. I tried to bring up at least the Amterville Town Hall meeting. But these people never seem to get anything done. Friday the 13th is when the power of the undead are the strongest. But don't sweat it, big Big Daddy has a secret weapon. Years ago, I heard an ancient vault key in the spider cave to the south. Be careful of the giant pink widow. She doesn't like intruders, and I had the hardest time painting her. Of course it is. Special armor is of course required. Because why not? And you know what else is required? Artics and Nathera. Oh, fuck off. I didn't click that. Jesus Christ. This guy's pissing me off. This guy's pissing me off a lot. I want to kill him. And I can't even be bothered to put anything back on. I'll put this on. There you go. Oh, big game from Snuggle Bear. Nice. Uh, there you go. Beam. Kaboom. Fuck you, spider. That's what you get. Oh, it's three of you. Triple battles. You have the most health. So you can get... Okay. That takes his sick moves. Let him attack backwards. Oh my god, why did that do so much damage? Wait a sec. Oh my god. What? Okay. Okay, I guess that's the reason why that quest was so hard. I did not think about that actually going to my other characters as well. I mean, it probably doesn't matter. These quests are not too hard. When I have a companion, that is. But still. It, it's still doable. Unless I have a really strong boss fight coming up. Because then I might die. Okay, well, my complaining was probably useless. I mean, that was technically my own fault. I kind of forgot that it would still be activated. I thought it was just um, that character. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Giant Pink Widow. Uh, 
Um, have a roar. Oh my god. This is awful. Imagine what it's going to be like when my character on the hardcore is... Well, it probably will never get to this level, but... Imagine how hard it's going to be. I am one shot, and then, then I'm dead. Okay, it looks like I am not completing this quest. I guess. Wait, can I stun? Um, I think the Thera has a stun, but I can't remember which one. This? No. Oh, he got Artics. I could Persian, but there's not really much point. I mean, he is, I guess, but maybe not. This one? Oh no, it's the other one. Oh. You got an Athera. Awesome. Oh my god, 10,000 XP from that. Oh well, I finished it. Uh, take the key. You've got the key to the ancient vault. Better hurry back to Big Daddy before the sun sets. Awesome. Okay. Well, I will turn off this hard mode. Um, where is it? I can't remember to put it back on though when I go become the hardcore. Um. Oh, wait, I'll just keep the armor on and bring these. Heart of Darkness. You got the key. Great job, baby. Not a moment too soon, need that. The sun is just about to set. Let's get moving. I sent Lord Friday the 13th a letter telling him that we were going to stop him and exactly where to find us. Don't look at me like that. Have a little faint in Big Daddy. I think I'm supposed to say Faith. Don't be such a baby. He, we will defeat our undead foe with the strongest weapon there is. Love. I ask you not to look at me like that. It looks like we're just in time. The sun is set. You have the key and we're ready to spring our secret weapon. I'm just not sure that telling Lord Friday where we were going to be was such a good idea. Have a little faith in Big Daddy. I would let you down. You make me dress like a giant teddy bear. Do you really want me to answer that? I have arrived and my powers are still growing in power, Cherub. I will admit to a certain amount of curiosity. But I am no fool. We've taken so much from my beloved Doomwood. I'm tired of you spreading lies about love. You know, Friday, someday you will meet the love of your life and you will come crawling, begging me to help you. And I'm such a great guy that I will help you. I, I may be making a gold or two in this setup, but I believe in a, thing, a crazy little thing called love. Enough. I see you brought your messenger to, to protect you. I would... Right. I really can't be bothered to talk to this dickhead. Okay. Well, goodbye, cat. Goodbye, cat. Um, where is cat? Cat is where? Oh no. Oh, he's gone. There you go. He said he wasn't equipped. And... Haste. Oh, 
Oh, big hit. And a rest in peace. Nice, that was easy. I'm not done yet, Midnight. You have won the first battle, but I feel my strength returning to me as we speak. Just, just give me a few seconds to catch my breath. You breathe. Midnight, you unlocked the vault while y y we were over there, right? Yep. Uh, oh, Sephira. Um, why have you awoken me for my 200 year nap? Hammer, hammer, hammer. <laughs> uh, mainly because it has been 200 years, Queen Sephira. But also because I wanted you to meet some very special friends of mine. This is Midnight, the hero of Falconreach, and the Vampire Lord is Friday the 13th. It's a pleasure to meet you both, Friday the 13th. I knew your father, he was a sad little man. Thank you. I mean, you did? I mean, Queen Sephira, I thought you were a legend, lost in time and memory. You haven't been a vampire very long, have you? How very like your father you are. Pleased to meet you, your worshipfulness. Um, I don't think anyone really cares, do they? Okay. Maybe they do care. Maybe they don't. I don't. Um, but we're done. I don't know if I'm going to do the next quest. I don't really like this storyline and the fucking teddy bear is fucking annoying. I understand why they make you do it for the snuggle gram. That makes sense. But when it comes to quests where you got to fight stuff, it's really stupid and annoying. Either way though, thanks for watching, I will see you on the next part. Bye bye.